It's our job to be ready for anything. But something so strange, so unthinkable. How can we be ready for that? And it could be just the tip of the iceberg. And the parasite isn't alone. We're in uncharted territory now, facing something we know almost nothing about. Something that could destroy every living thing on the planet. Literally. React's not gonna let that happen. But to stop it, we have to understand it first. Knowledge is power. We're going to learn everything we can about the parasite. It's got a weakness somewhere. Let's get to work. Sure looks cool. Cool. This is bleeding edge VR combat training. No one's encountered anything like La Zona Caliente. If our people are going to collect critical data on the parasite, they need the best training possible. Hold on. You did not get to the extraction point in time. In the real hot zone, you will now be encased in stasis form, waiting for someone to rescue you. Another good thing about VR? No stasis one to dissolve when it's over. Like I said, cool. When do I get a try? Um, maybe after lunch. Two days from now. Next!
Chaos is my home. Keep your enemies on their back heel. All react departments enact incursion protocols for the safety of our personnel. Concentrated areas of parasite activity are called hot zones. React has contained the area within three subzones separated by airlocks. Operators are deployed to the safest area to complete objectives and gather intel. Parasite activity increases after each airlock in line with React's directive to limit threat propagation. Operators can exfil at any time at the available extraction point to report new intel to R&D. However, the further you go on an incursion, the better the intel. The parasite ecosystem is sensitive to intrusions. At a certain threshold, it unleashes a massive Archean attack to eliminate the threat. The safety protocol is in effect when it's too risky to send for an extraction platform. Exfil before it's too late. Operators who fail to exfil or are left behind for any reason are considered MIA. A stasis device is activated on MIAs to protect them from the parasite. The next squad deployed to the same hot zone can attempt a rescue. React will do what it takes to bring our people home. Target to take down with your React blade. A sample will be collected at the same time. Use your React drone to locate your target. You're getting close to the target. your target.
Airlock sequence. Subzone transition in effect. Stay in the airlock. This subzone is a training module on the Parasite ecosystem. On occasion, we need you to plan auto trackers on nests so we can monitor them. Locate some nests. Plant an auto tracker. I'll wrap the cages. What else? Loading quest. idea to eliminate men, but don't disturb all of them. We need enough of them to gather usable data. Don't 
destroy the nest. You have to plan auto trackers on them. on the object. React, collect data on the parasite ecosystem. You can head to extraction or continue to the next subzone. The choice is up to you. Stay close or you'll miss your ride back to base. That was a good run. Do that in a real incursion and we'll contain the Archean like nobody's business. The Archeans, or we won't have a future.
We ain't nothing without our team. Likewise, everybody's got to pull their own weight. Here with React, you're part of Rainbow's military research branch. Knowing our enemy is half the battle, we need to learn all we can on this relentless threat to humanity. We're currently aware of four regions. We're installing containment walls, airlocks, and necessary React equipment to allow for incursions. Each incursion is an opportunity to gather new intel, whether it be the parasite's origins or data on its adaptive behavior in biomechanics. Field data provides R&D with continuous support for cutting-edge technology. This means upgrades in React's arsenal and a wider breadth of tools to acquire even better intel. However, React cannot rely solely on tech. Every completed objective grants field experience, informing operators with tactical know-how to get ahead of enemy developments. This knowledge will lay the groundwork as more operators report for duty. We need all the help we can get. We'll learn everything we can on the Parasite to give ourselves a fighting chance. You're in my life. Elisa. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Hey, my fault. I just wanted to see how R&D is doing. Not bad. Good, actually. Check this out. I couldn't figure out why it kept overheating. Then an operator came back with data on how El Parasito dissipates high thermal loads and boom, the solution. Yes, the parasite is horrible, but it's also a scientific gold mine. Everything we learn makes our tech better. Elena, keep making great stuff like this, and I promise to keep out of your life. Our tech is years ahead of the curve. From prototype to release, you're using cutting-edge gear. Holland's finest, ready to serve.
detected abnormal nests. Another mutagen strain. Locate the nest. Malignant neoplasm will be within reach for you to get a sample. Collapse on the objective. Provide where you there. must. Keep moving forward. React gear here. Head over there. Converge on location. Airlock sequence initiated. All personnel to airlock immediately. Airlock sequence. Subzone transition in effect. That's a major parasite activity, but we can counteract those tremors. Find our seismic stations. Thank you. 
protocol. Shutting down all stations. No triangulation results. No way to disrupt the propagation of the seismic waves. Roger. We made it this far. Concentrate on what's next. Set on ammo. <sighs> Get the med kit. Airlock sequence initiated. All personnel to airlock immediately. Airlock sequence. Subzone transition in effect. here are being good buddies with their elite, which is bad news for our containment efforts. Kill a few to provoke the elite into showing itself. Making huh. contact! Friendly, this fire! Yep, you're attracting their leader, all right. Faced with inconceivable odds to save humanity, you're all right.